I love these lipsticks. I'm holding up this one. This isn't a lipstick. This is the lip liner I wore with it. Oh, look at that swatch. <laughs> that got out of control there. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and this week was just kind of a hodgepodge. Um, I had some neutral favorites, I had some colorful favorites, some girly favorites, so kind of all over the place. So yeah, just sort of a hodgepodge this week, but some really fun favorites, so let's jump into it. I wasn't wearing anything on my nails this week, went back to being lazy as far as that goes, but for my eye favorites this week, I pretty much have been pulling for this palette most every day this week. Um, I've talked about this before. This is the Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie Palette. I love this thing. I have been intending to do a get ready with me or a tutorial or something with it, but I have a lot of tutorials that I still need to put up. So just know this is in my list of I want to film a look with it, but it is just, it comes with like a mascara here and a lip gloss. So that's why there's like holes in it right now because I figured they would have fallen out. But this is just a great neutral palette, but you have lots of options because you've got this really pretty kind of like pinky shade. I have that on my lid today. You've got this kind of like purpley shade, but then you've got just great matte neutrals. These are so buttery and pigmented. This is a great travel palette. I've got lipstick on my finger from doing the little lip thing, which I'm gonna talk about this lip favorite in a second. It's really pretty but you have to do the little finger lip check situation. Okay, back to this palette. This is so gorgeous. Literally, this palette has completely made me a Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow fan. I had just completely overlooked them, never knowing how amazing they are. That is amazing pigmentation. They blend like a dream. They wear really well throughout the day. They work really nicely together. You do get some fallout with them, so just kind of know that. They're sort of moving in the direction of the Lorac Pro shadows, but I really don't like the Lorac Pro shadows, so they're not that extreme as far as like kicking up product. But you know how those are just crazy pigmented, but then they kick up a lot of product? These are just as pigmented, but don't kick up as much as those do, so I like these a lot more than the Lorac Pro shadows. I love these shadows, love this palette. It's gorgeous. I've been reaching for it all week and I am gonna do a look with it really soon, hopefully. And in true fashion for me, I have two blush favorites, one really high-end Chanel and one really drugstore CoverGirl. So the CoverGirl blush that I grabbed for this week is in Soft Mink. This is just a really pretty, if I can get it open, it's just a really pretty neutral, kind of like, I don't know, warm mauve is maybe how I would describe it. Yeah, because it's not like totally a nude, but it's not really a mauve. It's really pretty. It has a glow to it. It has a stanky CoverGirl scent to it, which I don't like, but... It's actually almost a little bit nostalgic. Like I don't like the scent, but then it kind of just makes me think of like, I don't know, playing with makeup as a kid because this scent has been the same for a long time. Okay, look how much of a sheen that has. That has a lot. Of course, this is with me rubbing it on like a swatch, which I feel like really brings out the shine to it a lot more than it would look on your cheeks. Like I'm wearing this today with the blush I'm about to mention to you. So. I mean, I don't look that sheeny on my cheeks. So just kind of know that. That's, this is an extra sheeny version of this blush. But it's just a beautiful, neutral, everyday color. But it just has a little bit of like mauve tones in it. But I love the glow to it. It really is a nice blush. You get a lot of product and it's drugstore. So gotta love that. And the Chanel blush is the one that I got for Valentine's Day. This is in Rose Bronze. I love this so much. I mean, I love the Chanel blushes. I think they're amazing. They're beautiful. They blend in the, into the skin beautifully. They smell kind of rosy and fancy and oh my gosh. They just, they're just awesome. They are so easy to blend into the skin. Something about their formula is just so good. 
and it's special because, you know, Timothy got it for me for Valentine's, so I just love it. I tried to kind of apply it lightly because I feel like when I try to apply a really wabam swatch of the Chanel blushes, things get weird and then they don't look as impressive. So I tried to do it lighter so you can hopefully get a better idea of what it looks like. But what it is, is a really beautiful neutral color, but it has a warmth to it, it has a sheen to it. So it's sort of like soft mink, except this one I think has more, almost like a golden warm shift to it. This is a little bit, I feel like it's a little bit warmer than soft mink is. I feel like that one has a little bit of warmth to it, but not as much as this one. This one has more of like a golden -y glow to it. But anyway, I'm wearing both of them. I like how they go together. I feel like I need to blend my contour a little bit right there, but I think they work really nicely together. So I love this blush. I love the Chanel blushes. I think they're amazing. So I think if like, if you invest in a high end blush, I feel like they're really one that's worth it to get like just a fun, special blush every now and then. They really are awesome. I love them. And then for lips, I'm going to be having an Avon Haul swatch mini review type video coming up soon, but just know this is a little preview. I love these lipsticks. I'm holding up this one. This isn't even a lipstick. This is the lip liner I wore with it. I love this lipstick. Not lipsticks. Lipstick. Anyway, these are the perfectly matte lipsticks and this is in the shade Red Supreme. Oh my goodness. If you are looking for just a classic red lipstick, this is it. It is kind of just a mid-tone red, but look at that pigmentation. Oh my, it's so good. It is so opaque. These are really a comfortable matte. I feel like they're really comfortable. They're very long wearing, but I don't know. They kind of remind me of the Milani matte lipsticks a little bit. Sort of like the Maybelline Creamy Mattes, but they remind me more of the Milani ones, but they are awesome. So Red Supreme is one that I keep grabbing for. The lip liner I wore with it is Hot Red from NYX, so I just wanted to mention that to you. So if you're looking for a liner to wear with it, Hot Red is a great one. Clearly I've used a lot of it. It's getting a little short and nubby. So I love the NYX lip liners, but the real true star is Red Supreme. These perfectly matte lipsticks are awesome. I love them so much. So that Avon video will be coming up soon. And then I posted a picture on Instagram of this lip product right here, which I absolutely love and I'm wearing it again right now. I do have it with a lip liner today. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Fuchsia. So I just was kind of need to, needing to like clean up the edges a little bit. So I grabbed for Fuchsia. Fuchsia. I grabbed for Fuchsia. For Fuchsia, which works really well with it, so it's a beautiful Fuchsia color, matches the name well, but this product, this is the Palladio Velvet Matte Cream Lip Color, and this is in the shade Plush, and it is just the most beautiful, like, berry, raspberry, pinky amazingness, and this is such a nice product. Like, I would like to go get another one, two, three, or four of them because that's so good. It's like a liquid lipstick in that it's pretty long wearing. It really did seem to kind of stain my lips a little bit and stick around for a good amount of time, but it's more on the kind of like creamy, comfortable side. My lips are super chapped right now. I did a lip swatch video on Monday. I filmed one and oh my goodness. My poor lips are so chapped, but actually like this isn't making them feel any worse. Like it just, it actually is feeling pretty good on my lips. So it's, I wouldn't say it's hydrating, but it's definitely not drying, but it isn't transfer proof. So you kind of have to be careful, like check your teeth. Like I was talking about earlier, check your teeth. You'll want to do that. Um, cause they do move a little bit, but because of that, they're a lot more comfortable. So, I mean, just look at that crazy pigmentation. That is so good. So, really like the formula of these, and I just adore this color. So pretty. Chester has joined us. And then I do actually have a couple of fooies this week. One is kind of like a feedback slash fooey. Like, 
one part is a fooey, but one part is just kind of feedback. So anyway, I'll get you that in a second. So the first fooey, which actually I really liked this at first, so I don't know why this was a fooey for me this week, but it totally was. This is the Lord & Berry, I guess just like eyeliner, and it says dark black, it says line and shade. So I was trying to do kind of like a smudgy liner with this, and it's almost like it's too smudgy. But when I first got this, I think I got it in a boxy charm. I don't remember it being this smudgy. So I don't know if it's kind of like I got down and whoa, look at that swatch. <laughs> that got out of control there. But I don't know like if I wasn't really fully into the product yet or what, but it didn't seem as whoa smudgy like it is right now. So that's whoa smudgy and it just really messed up my eye look. So this did not work for me this week. I don't know what happened, but it was just too creamy. It smudged too much. It just, it didn't work. It didn't look good. So this is a no. And then this is the one that's kind of like a feedback slash fooey. So these are the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drench Lip Splash Lipsticks. So I first got another shade, which is Surfer Girl, which I really like that. If you wanna see that color, I have a picture on my Instagram wearing that shade. Love that color, but it broke, which really, really stinks. So that one's kind of like, it's not a fooey because I like the color and I did like the formula on that one, but these lipsticks are so creamy it's almost to a fault, like it broke at the base because it was so creamy, but I really like the color of that one. This one, this one is in what color? This is Hey Sailor. This one I really just don't like the color and I feel like something was kind of strange with this one when I wore it, like it wore weird, um, it looked kind of dry on my lips, it just, Something about this formula or maybe just this particular color didn't work. So overall, I'm just not a huge fan of these lipsticks. I don't know, I'm just not blown away by them, but I do like that other one. So I'm switching that one out to get one that's not broken. Um, but this one I think I'm gonna be returning because it looks pretty in a swatch, but for some reason when I wore it on my lips, it just didn't work for me. So this was a fooey. All right guys, so those are all my favorites and my fooies for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.